Bloomberg again. It is really great to see you. Welcome back to the cleaning store. Here where we're able to take care of all of your tech cleaning needs. just a little bit more of a deep clean perfect you have come to the right place to get that done and I'll be more than happy to get that sorted for you I'm not sure if you remember the protocol that I have here at this store but we keep hours very late we have a lot of wonders over from the gaming store next door they come over and bring a lot of their tech things laptops computers controllers consoles they cleaned even phones and uh, i'm able to service them all make them all feel brand new again as much as possible for the owner to enjoy it all over again and and that's um, one of the processes which i like and i say to all customers who come in and you're welcome to do this as well to stay and watch the cleaning process uh, it can be quite just relaxing to see you one of your items get a little bit of a pampering massage so to speak and and to go from well used i'll never say not looked after but well used um to looking brand new and and really fresh again which uh, could be really nice thing to watch there's going to be some uh, slightly different uh, cleaning technicalities which will be uh, altered uh, for this gaming controller because i notice it is in white uh, so I'll explain as we go along for some very interesting things to pick up for it um, But one of the things with your PlayStation controller previously it looked like it was it's been well loved and, and well used and uh, I can expect to have the same sort of level of TLC uh, build up of dirt as I'd like to say and call it uh, where it's been loved and well used and we can expect that same sort of thing because no doubt this this was a twin pair to alternate between yeah between controllers so if one runs out of battery you've got another one to switch it yeah that's right and very wise gamers do that of course yeah so you can tell me already that um, you're a proper gamer well, how about that you pass over your controller examination of this. Thank you. So, what I can see already, and what I love so much as well, is that your controller has been well protected and is looked after in this plastic bag here. That to me is always a good sign of uh, someone who likes to look after their tech cares about it and understands that doing things like this prevents excessive dirt crime build up when not in use and means your tech will look better last longer and just be more pleasing when you use it as well so I can already tell even with the bag on this build up of bits of dirt in the usual places as there should be and also yeah, there's, there's a slight difference with the PlayStation black controllers and PlayStation white ones in 
you can see on the texture here the white around these areas here tend to pick up the dirt which is more visible uh, in the crevices sometimes it's easier to see again on the black uh, playstation controller i'm actually working on one now on the playstation 3 controller as you notice that this one is very uh, dirty and has a, rather a build up uh, quite a large build up of dirt and playstation 3 controllers tend to be even dirtier because they are of course longer and there's been uh, more usage with it over the time it tends to be a more of an accumulation of dirt where it's been well loved you've seen all the crevices around here how dirty it is and this customer has really has enjoyed their controller but sometimes it can where it builds up for such a long period of time it can change uh, the performance of the controller whilst you're gaming which uh, if you really are intricate about gaming then that's why you would get your controllers cleaned as well and that's why i like to provide that surface too so that's just an example there and around the crevices there so you pick up the dirt uh, quite a lot there and that's something which you can't see as much in here but when it comes to around the handle bits then the white really does pick that up the white controllers so that's just an example there and let's just take this out and have a closer examination it's got his usual uh, build up of dirt uh, which I can just show you around here and show you what we're going to be doing so around the crevices of the control here is the normal uh, dirt where it's accumulated around here and this dirt is a very loose term because this is just dust and all natural things which uh, as you hold a controller or if you're doing something or eating something tiny uh, microscopic bits of dirt and things can just find their way in the controller rub off your hand or something like that and then invariably go in the crevices around here around the joysticks and in the buttons around here as well uh, which can change the performance especially if you're into fast-paced sort of uh, online gaming as well then this is why you get your controllers regularly cleaned as well which um, is always something to think about see even on the light here is accumulated a little bit of dirt there got no parts of dust and you've got to think about where dust is falling so that would be mainly on the top around the joysticks here as i can see already and then as i was saying the difference here is that you can see the dirt around the handle around here so with white controllers these tend to be a lot more dirty and you can see there's a fade off the white there as it gets a little bit darker which you don't have on the black controllers and it's the same on there as well so it could be just a little bit more uh, shall we say not as in a brand new condition as your previous playstation 4 controller and it's all uh, very workable and i can get that looking absolutely brand new for you again if you liked it very much that's fantastic that's really great to hear and i really do appreciate when uh, people actually do enjoy uh, the cleaning process as well so i'm going to get started then on this controller and make it in brand new condition for you great so first thing i'm going to do is go around all the edges and blow as much as possible
So I have a variety of brushes which I use all with different types of bristles to get into all the small areas. So we've given it just an initial glue there of air just to take out all those loose pieces because as we go through the cleaning process we don't want to re-stick any of those bits there as well. So we are now brush out any of the air that we might have just moved around a little bit there.
see, even in the closest of examinations now, that all of the dirt on the inside there has now been removed, and you can probably tell just a little bit on the table there too. And one of the special things uh, with this process is that we don't have to take the case apart. Of course, that uh, is part of the cleaning process, but I like to try to work around doing that because a PlayStation controller was designed to be kept in this way, not to be moved or to be tampered with really. So if uh, you undo it and start just moving or altering the slightest bit, your brain, which has used this controller for I don't know how long, might pick up on just something slightly different when gaming. And we wouldn't want that um, for your controller, and it can happen. Not that I'd expect it would happen, but it's one of those things where we try to let it lie and uh, just work around it all, and you will still get the exact same brilliant results uh, by doing this method as well, before you've got all the right tools for the job, of course, which we have. we can now get the controller a very nice professional wash and give it a nice clean down so we've gone through the crevices there and you see all the dirt has come out there uh, but 
out with a nice uh, professional solution on your controller it will make it look even better and it will look even more uh, brand new there for you as well okay and then we'll continue with the whole cleaning washing process
a slight difference between the joysticks there of the, the deep green on it. Okay.
this is always the bed which is the hardest to see on a black playstation controller and that's because you don't get that sort of just the first layer of of dirt and this is just like scuffs and things which tend to be on this side of the controller with the black controller it's harder to pick it up but with the white controller you can really see it um, and someone who works with controllers well then you really notice it as well some air in it um, whilst we give it a final wipe down and then we'll just use our dust cleaner and this will just pick up it's like a putty slimy gel and that will take up all the bits that might have just fallen off sort of last minute so to speak but as you can tell already that your playstation controller is looking really nice and um, if this was a spot and it's surely feeling very relaxed and pampered right now and all refreshed which is of course what we want and like I said being right next to the, the tech store we get a lot of the customers that sort of find their way in here even if they've had a stressful night's gaming or something like that and they just need to switch off a little bit they tend to bring items in here which aren't even that dirty might I add just to get cleaned and you find it's probably the game and um, the tech person who is uh, really coming just to see the satisfying process of this so it's just a nice thing which we like to do here and it's just good for all of our customers and anyone who has an interest in this sort of thing and uh, offer a service which is beneficial <laughs> to all okay i think that's looking really nice now and we'll show you everything that we've done shortly so we'll get the air on it
excessive amount of grip on my hands too so you also feel that on your controller as you notice that that's one of the things I do when you have your controller clean with me it's not only just the cleaning process but now your controller is very suitable uh, for gaming as well so you'll find that you can grip it even better all the buttons sound nicer sort of a, it's not a glue, it's not a bond or anything like that, but uh, it doesn't do anything to your controller except just make it better for holding and it's not going anywhere. This could be very useful for when you're in those intense uh, gaming sessions where the tiniest things matter. But if you'd just like to see it for your controller here, we've gone through all the deep clean on your buttons here. The joysticks are looking really nice and all the residual dirt is out from there and there as well even round on the inside of the controllers there as well you notice that's all looking brand new and really nice and clean as well one of the satisfying parts are the crevices down the edge of the controller that's all being very nicely cleaned and uh, all that dirt has come out there as well 
like I said, with the handles there. So I don't know if you use this as an example. Uh, this is a other PlayStation 4 controller I'm working on. You, like I said, you can't really see the dirt around the handles here, uh, but it does exist because there was loads uh, on here. But now it's all, it's all disappeared and it's looking brand new again. So this is uh, a sort of semi uh, cleaned controller. This is a really nice PlayStation 4 controller, which is ready for usage again. So what I'll do, I will lay it on your back because when it arrived on in the back, then it probably had bits of dirt in there. So we wouldn't want to put that back on your controller. So we'll keep it on there like that. And I'd just like to thank you for bringing this in for me to work on today. It's always a very satisfying thing uh, to clean uh, your controllers. And I very much hope that you enjoyed the final product there as well. And it's all satisfactory to you and you enjoy your gaming. So is there anything else I can do for you? Well, thank you so much for coming in to visit me, bringing in your tech items. All other items, like I said, by all means, bring it in and we'll get it seen too. Uh, even if it goes up to PlayStation 5 controllers, which don't tend to be as dirty, it's more of the surface dirt rather than the deep clean, but still very beneficial and nice to get all these items done as well. So if you'd like to bring those in, let me know. So thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this process and you're relaxed as well. Take care of yourself. Cheerio.